so now it's time to create our these sections where we will be highlighted a video and also the number of year years of experience uh, awards and client ratings so to create these sections i have to navigate to editor first so i just open a new tab here and also i'd like to drag this uh, figma on the left side so that i can navigate here and there easily now from figma you can see you have to understand what we are going to create here uh, this is a complete this is a complete sections and it will be we, we can differentiate as a two sections we can make this video into different sections and uh, this part will be also in other individual sections let's create this part here first then you will be able to understand easily what's going on here now first of all i just take a group i hope you guys already have some ideas and now you can see here i'm sorry this one let's click this on on the right side take the uh, first uh, small title here or subheading so i'm just added heading paste here and let's make it h4 and make it center after that take the heading 2 and also change the color hit enter and this is another heading change it to the heading and heading to make it center and at the same time if i activate the list view you can see here i just click over here and I zoom out a little bit so that you can understand the overall layouts easily here i just zoom out okay so this is perfect as of now and add some content here at the bottom make it center so you can see on the left hand side inside the group i have added two heading here and i should take this one also inside the group not outside the group and i just added this paragraph inside the group here again by drag and drop here so now we are gonna create these sections uh, these uh, years of experience features and awards and client ratings so here what we are gonna do we are going to create these sections we will take a group here and after that we will make sure this group has a fixed width 946 pixel as you can see it's displaying here and it's not a full width it has a fixed width and we'll we'd like to apply that width here as well let's take group first here add a group and now you can see here we can place width but before adding width we have to make sure it's wide width or we have to add a width here 946 so as you can see it's now working perfectly here but if we do not make it wide width if we make it none it will not gonna apply this width so this is very important keep in mind you have to make sure you have selected the wide width if you want to add any custom width here that's very important now let's take a look at our design here there is a three column so we can take column or we can take grid here so instead column why we should take grid so there is a benefits taking grid and instead of column here in most cases when you are using grid it will be really easy for you to make your website responsive on different devices so that's why we would like to add another group here and this group will be a grid so i have to select it grid and there are four grid here but if i increase the column width let's say from 12 i'd like to increase 17 or i think 17 would be perfect so when i use 17 you can see it's displaying three column initially it's a grid but when i add content it will be displaying in three column and you'll be able to see the useful features when you are using grid later on when i configure the responsive view for this project let's copy the content from here and this is 56 pixels so go back to our editor 
add a heading and I believe it's 56 pixels here okay it's not gonna work uh, inside this editor uh, it will work at the front end so we can apply from here yes it's 56 pixels and now copy years of experience also if you take a look at here the font color looks different it's 51586 a little bit gray color it's not exactly the black color here so we can change the font color to the one that is using uh, our design so we can change it globally later on now let's so you can see when i add enter it will add information here but we want to add information below this item so what we can do we can simply press shift or we can simply make this one as a group here so you can see we just added the heading as a group and inside this group we will add paragraph so just take a look at here carefully there is a grid inside the grid there is a group and if we add additional paragraph let's remove this one add additional group here it will be displaying exactly looks like this now look at our design it looks a more compact so what i can do i'd like to just duplicate this one and take a look at the font size of this design first 18 pixel regular so let's make it 18 pixel it's already 18 i think yes and from group copy this group or you can duplicate again duplicate and you can also use shortcut key command d to duplicate any items remove this item and you can see here inside the grid it's now displaying on the left and on the right side edge to the edge so that's not good for the design so we have to add some padding here on the left and right side of this grid item so when i select style we can simply add padding so you can see on the left and right we can add some padding here let's add larger padding and at the same time you can see when we add padding it changes the layout because we have to reduce the rem or the minimum column width so let's make it a little bit larger here 13 would be perfect and now when i add grid and add some border at the top and bottom you can see the difference well uh, add here and add padding at the top and bottom so that's the view that i wanted to achieve here i added a space on the left side padding on the right side padding inner padding and at the top and bottom and at the same time i have added the border with the exact width that we have inside our design so i hope you understand now it's time to change the font uh, text and the font f value here which is not font the featured errors value basically 21 plus and 97 percent let's change them So we have completed our interactive designer, our experience sections.